you need an off-grid power source, but are you hesitant to invest in a fuel-based generator? Harvesting solar energy uncouples you from volatile energy prices, but it requires a storage solution to get you through the night or cloudy days. Such an energy storage solution could also act as a backup during power outages caused by grid failures. Enter the Zendure Superbase V6400 and its satellite battery B6400, a modular and fast charging home energy system that can give you up to 64 kilowatt hours of capacity. That's enough to power the average American home for about two days. But is this system the right fit for your home? Hi, this is Tina for MakeUseOf.com and I got to spend a couple of weeks testing the Zendure Superbase V The first thing that I realized right out of the box is that this system wouldn't be a great fit for our house. And that's primarily due to the system's size and weight, or shall I say the dated design of our century-old home. The main thing you need to make the Superbase V power system work for you is space. It starts with its delivery on a pallet, and if you don't want to unpack the boxes straight from the pallet, you'll need a dolly to move them to their final destination. The Superbase V weighs 130 pounds or 53 kilograms and the satellite battery clocks in at 101 pounds or 46 kilograms. That's a lot if you have to carry it up or down stairs. Once unpacked, you can stack the satellite batteries on top of the Superbase V and roll the whole unit around. The Superbase V6400 even comes with motorized wheels that can pull some weight. Just press the DC button for three seconds to turn this feature on or off, then pull out the handle and push or pull the unit where you need it. Or you can remotely control the Superbase V wheels through the Sender app. Before we get further into the weeds of this review, I have to issue a disclaimer. While you'll see footage of the satellite battery in this review, I wasn't actually able to test it. Unfortunately, it reached us with an extremely low charge, 0% to be precise, and I couldn't rectify this during the review period since the only way to charge it was through solar power and our front porch simply doesn't get enough sun in November. With a firmer upgrade, it's supposed to charge from the super base fee, but that requires at least 20% charge, which I couldn't achieve. All right, so this obviously highlights one of the major downsides of any solar system, which is that you need sufficient sunlight and good sun exposure throughout the day and ideally in a space where you can leave the system unattended. And this was not the case for our front porch. All right, with that out of the way, let's get back to the battery, the Superbase V. It contains semi-solid state batteries, and so does the ba satellite battery, by the way. And these batteries contain about half as much liquid electrolyte than regular lithium ion batteries. The solid electrolyte membrane contains the liquid fixing it in place, and this technology offers a combination of benefits, such as higher energy density and increased safety compared to standard regular lithium ion batteries. Tests demonstrate that pinching semi-solid state batteries or shooting has no catastrophic consequences, and this makes them particularly safe for a home energy backup system. At the same time, semi-solid state batteries are more affordable than pure solid, solid state batteries. Due to the lack of a better space, I tested the Sengir Superbase V6400 in our kitchen, a treasure trove of high wattage appliances, and in our living room. But a more appropriate space for a semi-permanent uh, installation would be a gar garage or basement. Now, how do you control the power station when it's not within arm's reach of your sofa? Easy, you install the Sengir app. It's way more convenient than the physical buttons on this unit and it's better than the display. And after pairing your hardware with the app, which I have described in detail in our written review, you can manage most of its settings remotely. And you can do that through either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Some of the examples here are that you can disable or enable the AC and DC ports. You can update various settings, such as the sound or the temperature unit. You can control the lights. You can check on paired satellite batteries and review your input output history under the data tab. The battery overview screen shows how much you're currently charging or discharging. So through your DC or AC ports. You can tap the DC output port to see the various ports and the total wattage they're drawing. In our tests, the screen didn't tell us exactly which port was drawing how much energy. It only showed the overview. To see your battery's current status, tap the charging percentage from the overview screen. And then from the battery status, you can see the battery temperature. You can remotely shut down the entire unit. You can set a maximum charging level, um, control the AC input power limit. You can also switch the AC output mode from RV mode to 240 volt and switch between 50 and 60 Hertz. 
Back on the app's main screen, you can also tap the DC output. And possibly the most fun and most scary feature is remote controlling the Superbase V's motorized wheels and driving it around your living room. The left and right controls didn't quite work though, so I bumped it into the glass. No damage. Theoretically, you can control the Superbase V through Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. If you're able to connect to one of these services, you'll be able to voice control uh, the power station or set automations based on the power station's charge or discharge status. For example, to charge it at night when electricity rates are cheaper. Unfortunately, our version of the app wouldn't let us log into Amazon and the Google Assistant button brought up the Amazon Alexa screen. All right, let's dive a little deeper into the actual meat of this battery. With a massive battery capacity and almost overwhelming number of ports, the Superbase V6400 is powerful and versatile enough to charge your entire house and your electric, electric vehicles. So more about the capacity. Both the Superbase and the V6400 and its satellite battery have a capacity of 6,400 watt hours. You can pair up to four satellite batteries with each Superbase V, amounting to a total of 32 kilowatt hours. And furthermore, you can run two Superbase Vs in parallel, yielding a total capacity of up to 6,400 kilowatt hours. And that's enough to fully charge a Tesla Model 3 running on a 60 kilowatt hour battery or power an average American home for two full days, as I said earlier. So can the Superbase V actually charge an electric car though? Yes, it actually can. The Superbase V has all the inputs and outputs, including a 240 volt 620 plug, which you'll also find in a Tesla wall charger. Both batteries use a 3,800 watt inverter with 7,600 watt surge capacity. Using Amp Up, the Superbase V uh, can run certain appliances at up to 5,150 watt on its own or 6,600 when connected to a satellite battery. What stands out most is its industry first dual 120 240 volt output, meaning you can charge your 120 volt and 240 volt devices at the same time. Other power stations may support both, but most need to switch between 120 and 240 volts, and you can only use either one at the same time. So dual voltage charging is great if you want to top up your electric vehicle and run your 240 volt oven at the same time as you're powering your 120 volt base entertainment system. Another key feature for a backup battery is the uninterruptible power supply or UPS feature. The Super Bay Base V features two zero downtime UPS charging ports in its US and Japan version. So if you're running your house on the grid and the power goes down, the Super Base V will kick in immediately to supply power to connected appliances. Sadly, EU, UK and Australian versions don't feature UPS. Aside from standard 120 volt AC, USB-A, um, USB-C plugs, and previously mentioned 240 volt plugs, the Super Base V also contains 120 volt TT30 plug and an Anderson output port which can power your RV at 30 amps. Need more parts? Well, check out the side panel for Anderson, car, and DC552821 outputs. At some point, you'll have to charge your Superbase V or the satellite battery. Each unit contains um, a MPPT solar controller for solar input through an XT, XT90 connector, and the Superbase V can take up to 3000 watts, while the satellite battery will accept a maximum of 600 watts. At maximum capacity and under ideal conditions, you can charge the Superbase V in as little as two and a half hours with solar power alone. This setup can be an emergency power center and run your home essentials for over a week, or with enough solar panels, you can even run your entire ho whole house off grid indefinitely. The Sendur satellite battery can be charged and discharged independently. Now that I've overwhelmed you with all that information, and the big question remains, should you get the Superbase V6400? If you're looking for the ultimate long-lasting power station that can scale up to run your entire house for days or provided you have sufficient solar power completely off the grid, then the Senju Superbase V6400 and its satellite batteries are currently the most powerful option on the market. What sets the system apart from the competition is that it's portable, modular, and easy to install by yourself. So you don't need a third party to install it for you. The semi-solid state battery also makes it safer than lithium iron or lithium, lithium iron phosphate alternatives. If you already have a transfer switch installed at your house, the system is essentially plug and play. Sendro also offers a home panel with EV outlets. While other competitors have entered the market with similar portable and stackable systems, 
Zendure Superbase V6400 currently offers the most comprehensive package in this segment. And namely the only one with semi-solid state batteries, the first one in the industry with dual 120, 240 40 volt operation, and one of the few that offers zero downtime UPS. What might also win you over if you value portability are the Zendure Superbase uh, V's powerized wheels, which other systems are missing. While the Sendure Superbase V can literally power everything up to 5,000 watts by itself or up to 10,000 when using two Superbase Vs in series, it might of course be overkill for your needs. In our tests, the cooling fans were rather loud and even when powering low wattage devices, um, so if that's an issue, you should look for a quieter alternative. And if you have a limited budget, a smaller system with fewer features might also be a better option for you. In that case, look into the Blue Eddy AC300 and B300 power station combo. The Superbase V is best for those seeking maximum portability and backup power for off-grid use or extended grid outages. If your system will be stationary and frequently recharged, however, the Superbase V4600, in other words, the lower capacity LifePo version, might be more cost-effective. So the answer to whether you should get this unit is it depends. Please let us know what made you decide for or against the Superbase V6400 in the comments. But first, like this video, subscribe to our channel to catch our next review, and check out our full review, which contains a lot more details. And it's linked in the description below. That's it for today. See you next time.